Hi, we're live. We're live, we're live now. It'll be like that. Jamaica. Thing. I got, I got a pig. <laughs> Oh, Hi, everyone. We are live in the kitchen with that, Pastor's Pantry. This is not our kitchen, though. Hey, we talked about this this morning. We were doing breakfast this morning. And, you know, we did the, the whole dirty rice and eggs and stuff. And we said we were coming out of Lexington. So we're down here at um, our son Dalmore's house, um, Jeff and Ashley's house. And we're just hanging out for the day, for the weekend, today and tomorrow. I'm Michelle. Michelle yeah. Miller's watching. Hi, Michelle. Uh, so, anyway, we're just hanging out. And, again... Really what this whole um, live stream is all about is just kind of peel back the curtain. Unscripted, is, hey, this is just how we eat. It's what we do. We get a lot of questions about what we do. Uh, and so instead of doing you know, the full-blown, live, scripted, perfect, almost perfect. This is not perfect. Good school class. This is, just, <laughs> this is us hanging out. So we kind of kicked around. We, we were supposed to do just like pizza tonight. That's what we're going to do. Uh, and what we decided to do instead is we did a pizza. Oh, I lunch. should probably go sideways. Yeah, that's always better. Can't, well, did it rotate with you? Oh, uh, wait a minute. No, you not? Okay. Can't do it while I'm recording. Sorry, you people. Up. You messed them all up. How does so that, that, that kitchen look? Fabulous. It looks awesome. Looks Spilly great. Kitchen. So anyway, we did pizza earlier. So what we decided, we're just going to tailgate it tonight. So um, again, um, I've got two great cookbooks out, Tailgate Tidbits Volume 1 and 2. Together, you get about 100 tailgater recipes uh, on there. So you can get those at my cooking school, by the way. So we're just doing some tailgating stuff tonight. So what we got planned, we have some um, <laughs> buffalo chicken dip, which we'll tell you what we put in that here in just a little bit. I didn't make it. I actually made this. Um, and we're just doing some chicken wings with my chicken rub. So I, and we're doing an air fryer. So if you do air We fryer, love our air fryers. Okay, so three... Go ahead. Of the family members, us, Jacob, and Jesse, all have, get your arm out of the way. I, I got to Get your arm out of the way for a I minute. I need to do food. Okay, we love Ninja. See this Ninja? These are Ninja Air Fryers. It's the AF-101. We do not get paid for this advertisement. But, hey, Ninja, if you want to, if you want to pay us, we'll, we We love these air fryers. Um, Jacob said he was cleaning his stove and never using the oven again. That's right. Um, Ashley loves potatoes in it. French fries. She, French fries. She loves it. We love chicken wings. We did bacon in it the other day. You guys saw us use, do salmon. Hey, beer can chicken rub. And it's the right direction. Is it really? Oh, yes. you're doing backwards. Yes. Okay. So, yeah. Usually when we're filming this, we have the camera turned toward me so I can see the comments. But since Joyce is playing camera person, um, she gets to see them all so we can do everything right there. So, all we're doing, listen, now, hear me on this. I'm not, if I'm lying, I'm dying. If you all are eating chicken wings and it does not have our beer can chicken uh, rub on it, you're eating them wrong. I'm just telling you, the flavor alone, forget putting sauce on it or anything else, just putting the beer can chicken rub on top of your chicken wing. We actually put hops inside the rub. Hold it still, quit shaking it. Okay, I, 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 you know, I talk with my hands. Okay. So we, we put hops inside it. So why don't we see a can of beer? You got it right there. So anyway. I've already preheated this air fryer, so I'm just going to coat these wings. I'm going to do uh, two batches, is what I'm going to do, okay? So we're going to coat these wings. I'm going to turn them all over. You just want to hit them, you know, pretty good with the rub, okay? I mean, you don't have to inundate them, but just, just put a good little coating on there. That's a big word, inundated. Well, you know, <laughs> I, I went to college, and I graduated summa cum laude. <laughs> Some come lately. That's what I, you know. So I use big words once in a while. Um, so anyway. He told me one day that he was afraid to wake up one day and he would just run out of words. There'd be no more words left in his brain. That he's it's, used it's, so many it's, words it's over one, his one life. Of my fears, man. One oh, my fears. you need to push that down. You need to okay. not do that with your hands, though. I know it's just hot. Yeah. Hot. Okay, so what he's trying to do is Got get it. this. Yeah. I got it. Okay. So it's all so. level. So anyway, we're going to put our wings in here. What do you think, Joyce? How many minutes? We're three. Uh, we're gonna do like three sixty for. What do you think? Eight minutes. Sure. We're gonna do it for eight minutes, and I'm gonna talk to you about chicken wings and food in general while we do that. All right. So we got about half a batch in there. He's got chicken hands. So I do. I got one good hand that has three sixty. Three sixty. I thought we did them hotter than that. No, I think. How it many was minutes? It. Eight. Let's go eight. And it hit. Oops. It hit start too far. 
And then he start. I'm gonna rinse my chicken hand off. Okay. okay. And we got more chicken wings we're gonna do. Let me talk about the buffalo chicken dip while we're he's washing his hands. We got an oven heating. It's not quite there yet. But um, Ashley did some chicken cutlets. She took some chicken cutlets, she boiled them in a pan until they were all done, and then she put them in the KitchenAid mixer. Have never seen this done before. She put them over here in this KitchenAid mixer with just the regular beater blade, and it shredded the chicken. It was fabulous. And then she put cream cheese in it. We put some powder fam kicking it old school hot sauce in it, or buffalo sauce in it. And we put it in the casserole dish and with some cheddar cheese on it. And we're going to put it in the oven at 350 for how long? Until it melts and bubbly and good and yeah, delicious. And it's currently at 341 degrees. No, it's at 241. Or whatever I said. It's at 241. He can't read. I can't it read. Anyway. It's too far across the room. Yep. So anyway, um, that's going to be our buffalo dip. We've got chips to go with that. And uh, then we're going to do these chicken wings. Yeah. So here's what I want to know. What are you all eating tonight? We got, by the way, we got Jen, Jesse's over here, they're decorating their house, so they're doing But he's it. posting, he says, Josh Cox, Justin Dozer, Matt Cox, that's, Jacob Peters, Jacob Lewis. That's the bachelor Check party. Check in, that's, it's the bachelor party, that guys. Is, that that's is, the, the, the wedding, the wedding party, the bachelor party, they know. <laughs> that's my boys, that's right? my boys. <laughs> that's, that's my boys, so, they, they love my cooking. There's Jesse, say hey. Building, put a picture he's put, up. Yep. Married life. Married life. We're getting it organized. How Look how nice it is. Look. It looks, looks great. Good. Ashley, doing There's great. Tracy. Hey, Tracy Humble. Hashtag replay. Tracy, we love you. And I appreciate you watching the show all the time. It's awesome to have you with us. Joyce and Sam Peters looking for new homes to do cooking classes in. <laughs> yeah, right. We can take this on the road. We are taking it on the road. We're not home right now, so... I call that on the road, but anyway. So here's what I want to know. Here's the question of the night: What is your favorite tailgate food to eat? Okay, and and love I, you too, Tracy. Once I kind of know all that stuff, let me talk to you about some cool tips and and some recipes. So, all right, so we got seven people, eight people watching. Tell us what your favorite tailgating food that's it. is. Favorite tailgate recipe. I'm not sure we're going to have any football games to have, tail, have tailgaters for, but... Well, but we're going to pretend. Yeah. Okay, so here we okay, go. Okay, so now I can watch. All right, so what do we got? I don't have my glasses on, so it's hard for me to read. Well, nobody's saying anything uh, okay. at the moment. They're so, being pretty quiet. So again, we what, got ten, <laughs> 10 people watching. What's your favorite tailgate recipe? And let's talk about that. Let's talk about the things that you really like. Um, and, you know, that you know when you get together with family and friends... What, what, what is it they ask you to bring to the party? I want okay. Sorry, never to, to oh, Tracy. Fried wontons. Oh, Tailgating yeah. fried wontons. Absolutely. What did we cook at Keelan that morning with the bacon wraps? Oh, the bacon oh, wraps. Oh, that was um, the pig skin explosion. Pig that's skin in my, explosion. That's in my cookbook, pig skin explosion. But yeah, fried wontons are great. Um, what do you stuff your wontons with? What do you do? Are you doing cream cheese or shrimp? Hi, Josh Cox. Hi, Josh Cox. One one of my boys is watching. Absolutely, but uh, but what do you, what do you guys when you tailgate? What is it your friends say? Hey, if you're gonna come, gonna be sure around. and make such and such. Okay. What I'm turning you, it back around. It's easier to film this way. That's fine. So uh, what so what are y'all making? And Joyce will tell me she's she's looking at it. So Josh, what's your favorite tailgate food? Favorite tailgater. We'll get it. So. You know, some people, it's just burgers and hot dogs, you know. So talk about the pig skin explosion, okay. what it so is. So in, in my cookbook, I make pig skin explosion, mm. and it is like, <laughs> Jesse's Jesse like, is, mm. oh, man. So it's like, it's, it's, Keeneland, two pounds. Keeneland, yeah. yeah. Keeneland, 11 a.m. Yeah. yeah, it's a great, it's a great tailgater, isn't it? So it's two pounds of pork sausage and two pounds of bacon with some, some of my um, pork rub and some of my barbecue sauce. And so what you do is you make a basket weave of one pound of bacon. So you're just going to basket weave just like you would like you see in the old-fashioned lawn chairs, okay? You just sort of weave it back and forth, and you spread that out, and then you spread out two pounds of pork sausage over the top of that. And then you take the other pound of bacon, and you fry that up crisp, and you put that on the inside. And then you get a one end, and you roll it up into a big log, okay? 
Oh, I forgot. You got to put a little bit of the barbecue sauce on the inside, then you roll it up as a big log, and then you base it with barbecue sauce, and you put it in the grill or the oven, and you, you cook it for uh, about like two or three hours until it gets to an internal temperature of 165 degrees, and you take it out, and then you can let it cool, and you can slice it, and then you grill it and put it on a bun. All right, cheese. we got to shake these a little bit. Yep. Okay. And your oven is also at temp. We're at okay. So we're going to put that stuff in too. So about we're about halfway through on our chicken wings. We just shook them up a little bit to make sure they get Did cooked. you finish your story? Uh, I think I did. That's how you okay. Did. That's how you so did. Doug Page says he puts in his wontons cream cheese and chives and onion and crab. They're perfect. Tracy said if she did tailgate, she'd like street tacos. Ooh. Oh, street tacos. Street tacos are, are yeah. great. We're about to do a class with street tacos. I can't wait. It's so, a first for us. There's a couple us. different ways. I, I actually like to do the, the fairly big flour tortillas. I like the soft um, uh, tacos. Uh, but, they have mini tacos for got, street tacos. They've got the mini, the mini shell. So when you do the street tacos, you do little minis. They're probably about, I don't know, six inches in diameter, maybe? Maybe. Maybe that big, maybe not. And, you know, when you're doing street tacos, it's really whatever you like. You know, it can be as simple as ground beef and avocado and cheese and lettuce and tomatoes. <laughs> or it can be shrimp, um, uh, fish tacos with some Jamaican jerk sauce. You could do. Hi, uh, Braxton. Oh, you could do some um, shredded like, pork. Shredded pork would be great. Uh, I'm thinking like some lamb, like if you're going to do a hero. Uh, so you can put that in there. You could really be creative and put some stuff together for you doing street tacos. That's the whole thing about street tacos. It, they're, they're, there's no rules. You can do whatever you want. So, what else? What's your favorite tailgate food out there when you get together with family and friends for the big game on the big screen? or at the, in the parking lot before the game, what is it all your friends say, please bring this? The little hot dogs. The little hot dogs? Oh, the little, the, the little in, smokies? In, in the Smoke, little smokies. The little yeah. smokies? Yeah. Okay, in what so, kind of sauce? Berry hot jelly, uh, barbecue? Yeah, the barbecue or the berry hot jelly. I was say, that's how we and you can, you can do the meatballs too. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, but the meatballs need to be in the arriviata or the marinara. Yeah. So that's Jesse talking. He didn't, he's not <laughs> Mama didn't turn around to see him, but basically what, what we're doing is uh, he's talking about putting the little um, the little uh, red smokies, uh, pig, putting pig put, in the blanket, pig, like pigs in the blanket, but putting no. the little red smokies in a crock pot, you can put our, our patter pan berry hot jelly in there, or barbecue sauce, smokehouse barbecue sauce, all good, meatballs are also good, you can do that, that's I, uh, so we did uh Mozzarella sticks in the air fryer. Yeah, we did. Mozzarella sticks work out great. And again, on the mozzarella sticks, all you're doing is taking one of those regular cheese sticks and you're wrapping them up in a wonton wrapper. Okay, so pretty good. They're about halfway done. So we're going to shake them around. We're going to put them in for another eight minutes. Come on. You got We went outside and played a lot of frisbee. 360. I'm not sure 360 is hot enough. You don't think? I think it is. You know, we think as old as we are, we can remember. Well, with, with this Ninja, a lot of times, it, you know, if you do it at 390, you actually burn stuff. It's going to get too done on the outside and not done enough on the inside. And so that's why I'd rather be conservative on the temperature and add more minutes so that I'm not overcooking. It really does such a great job of air frying that we don't want to overdo it. So Doug Page says Hawaiian roll ham and cheese sliders. Ooh. We've had those before. You put them all in together, yeah. and you put layer them that's out, and you bake them together, and you put them in the oven. Yeah, that's a great. And, and I've, I've had a lot of people those bring are, those. Those are together. awesome. Yeah, yeah I, can, I can pound a few of that those was, in a hurry. Yeah, those, those are good. So it, you know, they're any, mighty rich, though. Well, those are like, anything that's like slider size. Slider size is easy got, to eat. Yeah, one or two bites, mm, I'm all over. And I, if I go to a tailgate, I want to. I want to eat everything. Yeah, and it's small a little enough, bit of yeah, everything. Yeah. Yeah. After. yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and don't, don't you hate it when people bring little plates to a tailgater? Yeah, bring me a bring little plate. Bring, yeah. yeah. bring me a Dog big muffins. plate. Dog and cornbread, that's what we make one time. Corn dog what muffins, corn, corn dog bread. Corn, you make little cornbread muffins and put little hot dogs in them. Cornbread muffins with hot dogs. It's like corn dogs with little cornbread muffins. I've never had those. Oh, that's one great. That'd be it's awesome. Chili. It's chili. It's chili. Well, you're you're going to have to give me that recipe because I have to try that. I'll have to add that to tailgate tidbits volume three. 
volume three. Well, I, I love doing that. So as soon as we can play football again. Doug Page says yes. Yeah. Yes to everything. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Hey, tell me food's where it's at, man. Yeah. Again, you know, in my uh, in my two cookbooks, uh, I cover about a hundred different tailgater recipes. Uh, everything from like this, like the chicken wings, uh, which we love to do chicken wings, um, to uh, the Italian nachos, which we already have an episode out there. We do nachos a lot. Nachos are like we do different varieties do. of nachos, from oh. Alabama brisket nachos, nachos, nachos to yeah. Yeah, garbage nachos is clean up the refrigerator nachos. That's what that is. Whatever we got in the fridge is over. That goes on top of the nachos. Italian uh, nachos, regular nachos, yeah. shredded pork nachos. Yeah. Fish tacos. Okay, uh, Chris Allen says honey balsamic chicken wings. Honey balsamic. So I got a question for you, Chris. Is do you, do you do like a honey balsamic sauce then and then pour that over the wings, or is that something that you're marinating that in? And then doing the wings. Which how do, how do you do that? Kind of give me some give us some, some tips there on what you do. That's now we've got problem. a new Asian wing sauce. We do. Um, that's really good. Yeah. It, I had it last time Sam was in town. Killer. It's yep. you got a lot of jars of it in your cabinet down here. I saw. Do we? <laughs> Y'all been eating everything. <laughs> I'm part of the family I stockpile. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you play with me? I got everything. It's we got some yeah, right there. there. Listen, we got all kinds. We got some. If anybody's in town, Lexington, we got some apple pie. We got some jerk. We got bourbon. Some bourbon. See, got, you can tell he is related yeah. to the sa this, sauce family. This no label, but this is the new Asian wing sauce that we have, and we actually have that in our shop. Chris um, Allen. Okay, right Doug right Page there. says smoking a brisket tomorrow. You need some of our. Beef, um, yeah, Rob. Beef yeah. Chris Allen says yes. Hi, Kelly Gamp. So whatever question you asked Chris, he said yes. Okay, good. So one of the things on the brisket, he said he's doing a brisket tomorrow, right? Yes, Doug Page is smoking a brisket tomorrow. Okay, uh, so Doug, here's my question to you. Uh, when you're doing a brisket, what is the internal temperature that you're cooking it to? That's question number one. Oh, Doug Page says he has our beef rub. Oh, awesome. Uh, but what temperature do you cook it at uh, before you say it's done? And then secondly, if you, do you wrap it? And if you wrap it, at what temperature do you wrap it at? Okay, and then Chris Allen says sauce over the wings after they are done. Awesome. So that's Okay, I'm going to shake these again. Let's... Uh, okay. You got to, in this air fryer, see how those are coming out? Looking good. You got you to gotta shake them. So Doug says 195 at 225. Yeah. Okay, so that, that's really where, I'm using 225, 250. It changes a little bit, uh, depending on what, if sometimes I've spoken of this. Hi, Ed Gregory. So 225 to 250. So Doug Page says at about 150, I wrap it. Excellent. That's what we do. It, uh, for us, um, I like to get it 195 to 200 degrees. Any place in there is the sweet spot for me. Because then, if you, if you cut it perpendicular to the grain, you get the perfect bite out of brisket. I, I think that's, that's the key, is you want that perfect bite. It's so tender, it just pulls right apart. But not so tender that you shred it. Okay, that, we need something so to dump these wings in. 195 to 200 degrees. And I'm like you, I wrap it about 150 or... degrees because that helps you get past that stall point. Which, and that's what happens a lot with meat. It hits about 150, 160, and that meat begins to release its juices and it kind of stalls out there on the temperature yeah. and the cooking. So if you wrap it, whether it's in foil or if it's in uh, butcher paper, either one works fine. Uh, but you definitely want to wrap that about 150. So that's kind of right. So I do the same thing. That's excellent. So Chris Allen says we also do a smoked stuffed with cheese meatloaf. Smoked stuffed with cheese. Oh, so the meatloaf is stuffed with cheese. Mm. Smoked. So it's like a cheeseburger A smoked meatloaf. meatloaf stuffed with cheese. I got it. So it's like a cheeseburger <laughs> meatloaf. Great. Great. Smoked so, is good. Uh, yeah. Here's a recommendation with that. A little, little change up on that. When you do the meatloaf and you mix it together, instead of using ketchup in the meatloaf, Try a great barbecue, and I would highly, smokehouse. I would hold, highly recommend our smokehouse. <laughs> we are not barbecue. pushing any of our products not, on not this not show. Our products are not push, push. Um, <laughs> but the Powder Fan Smokehouse. Oops, Pepper, sorry. We had a, a great new customer of ours who's been coming in. Rick was uh, with us last night. Rick, if you're watching, God bless you. Love you. He is not watching. Um, well, not that I can tell. Yeah, he's he may watching. Watch it later. So, yep. Rick, 
Thank you. Anyway, um, he was talking, we did a meatloaf one night. He came to a class and we did a meatloaf with the smokehouse barbecue in it. It's phenomenal. Uh, so you just replace the ketchup with the, with the barbecue sauce. Uh, and if you really want to kick it up another notch, replace the no, ketchup no, no, no. with the Jamaican jerk sauce. Okay. Pam you know, Lewis is watching. Chris Allen says they are all good. Oh, they're absolutely so. Hi, Pam. Uh, good, good stuff. So, yeah, I love that. Uh, and you know what? Meatloaf is one of those great recipes that, for me, uh, you know, I mean, you can do meatloaf on a dinner with mashed potatoes and gravy and all that kind of stuff. But I just love, to push your tailgater, I love a meatloaf sandwich. You know, and putting that, all right. putting that cheese on the inside really works. Look at those. Uh, Jesse, you have a meat thermometer? Yeah. Yes. And I want to look in the oven here. I want to see what our cheese dip is doing. See what our cheese dip is doing in there. It's getting there. Not quite yet. <laughs> so we're going to check the temperature for chicken wings. We want a, a temperature of 165 internal. Okay. A lot of times we overcook our chicken and dry it out because we're afraid of killing somebody. You know, the chicken police just like how the rest us if we, you know, cook, undercooked our chicken. And so we end up cooking it too far. But by doing so, you dry out the chicken. 165 degrees at the bone is what you're shooting for. That gives you a nice juicy piece of chicken that's still completely cooked, but gives you the best flavor, okay? Okay. So we're gonna pull this out. We're gonna check this out real quick. And I have a temperature of 177 degrees at the bone. But they're are they crispy enough? She wants them crispier, apparently. Okay, so we're going to go a few more minutes. They are cooked done, but we don't want to... We want them crispy for her. Well, so, yeah, do I'll do high. 390, okay. For, like, for three minutes. For, like, three minutes, okay. I want them crispy. I like my wings. I do, I do too. I am very picky about but I don't certain want them, things. I don't want them dry. I, they're not going to be dry. I like my eggs with the yolk runny, but no white runny. Right. I don't, I like hamburgers, no cheese, not cheeseburgers. But then, if they have like pepper jack cheese, I don't want just plain American cheese or something like that. I want like a good cheese on them. Uh, blue cheese or something like that. I just, I'm freaky about certain things. Oh, yes, Pam, crispy is good. Pam Lewis, she agrees with me. I, crispy is good. I, I want a little I hear bit. You. Preach it, <laughs> preach it, sister. I see that hand. God bless you. Yeah, I, I agree with you. I, I like it crispy, but I don't like it dry. They won't be dry because we're doing them in the air fryer. They'll be all crispy. right. Yeah, we want it crispy. In Matt Cox. Side. Oh, Captain, my captain. <laughs> hey, Matt Cox in the house. Bachelor party. The boys are in town. Well, love my boys. Yeah, so we, yeah, we were already talking about when we we're going to plan our next fishing trip, Matt. That's so right. Go, buddy. Yeah, we're planning fishing, guys. Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> I can't believe Matt's not here for dinner. Where's he? Where's yeah. He oh, he still has time. Okay, so I'm going to shake him a little bit. I'm going to shake him. Ah. Ah. Get can't him wait. Can't wait. Get him crispy. So, now, <laughs> yeah, if you're coming over, bring a chair. So I'm in the dugout, Matt says. Ah, uh, let's go, Legends. <laughs> so, so, Jesse, what wing sauce do we have for these? Tonight? Yeah. Whatever you want. What, what we we have we Asian got wing pie, sauce. We got Asian, we got bourbon. So we, we got wedding sauce. Let's get wedding sauce out. Okay, let's, whatever, man. We can miss Okay, so up. let's see. We're in Jess, at Jesse's house. Let's see what he's got in his cabinet. Hold on a minute. Okay, so we've got Jamaican jerk. We got we've got bourbon. Sauce we've got apple pie, more bourbon. More apple pie. You can tell what he goes through. Apple pie. He doesn't go through a lot of this stuff. Wing sauce. Asian wing sauce has no label on it because that was the test batch. Well, so we have, then we have. Oh, and then we've got. This is the special wedding bourbon that barbecue is the sauce. Yeah, that's the sauce right there. So they have a few jars of that left. We made them a special barbecue sauce for their wedding. So if you're looking, if you're having a wedding, you need some sauce. That's right. We can private label. We can do. We can. we can do a private label. So see, this is their private label. We can design the sauce around you guys, whatever you like. It's got a special label on it, your theme. We can, we put can their do that. Picture on it. We can put your picture on it. We if can they do have whatever. An engagement pick or whatever. We can put that on it. But we can design, and we um, we created that, and they used that as the 
what do you call it? Table gifts? Table gifts, Table wedding gifts, gift, party wedding gift, whatever. Party, party, favors. party favors. Party favors. They're gone. We don't have any left. They're gone, yeah. So we People are taking two or three at a time. And we made like nine okay. pieces of that. Okay, it's they love done. It. All right. Oh, that's oh looking my gosh, better. Look at those. Looking good. Okay, so we're going to dump these in here. All right. So we're going to start the next batch. Um, and so I, I don't know how long it takes us on the chicken dip. Okay, but... we're going to look at it again. Oh, I'm um, It's not bubbling, but is it ready? We got some it's probably mix. ready. You want to pull it out? Are there dinosaur hands? <laughs> <laughs> there's two in there, babe. You might want to separate those. There's two. No, there's Separate them. It's my first time cooking. <laughs> my parents are cooks. <sighs> oh, look at that. Wait, I need a chip. Give me a chip. I'll sample it for you. Oh, yeah. Little We're going to sample it. Testing. Those wings look good. Open that so we can sample. Then we can move on. Okay, so hold on. Hey, Matt, come over for dinner, buddy. All right, so here we go. We're going to try it. You ready? Mm. So, okay, so here's the, oh, look at it's the steam coming from it. It's hot steaming. It's hot. Okay, so me and Jess, you ready? What's get that it. food thing called? What food thing? That we ground the meat up in? KitchenAid. Get, KitchenAid. Get a okay, KitchenAid. Okay, we're ready? Get All a right. KitchenAid. It's hot. Mmm. <laughs> Ashley Peters. Bomb. Uh, Bomb. 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 All right, so you ready? We're going to, some of it, again, we're going to use the wedding. Now, okay, this was made, we only have a few bottles of this left at the shop, okay? But this was made with um, a certain uh, bourbon, which I cannot name online because I don't want to... But it has a red it. label on it, it, a has, red it top. A, it has a yeah. red wax top on it, but I can't really mention the name of it. But it's, mm. um, but it's really good bourbon, and we actually put 25% more bourbon in it than we normally put in our bourbon sauce. And so we're going to pour that over the top. And, oh, get this, Joyce, it's nice... And luscious. Can you get a close-up of this? This is thick. Ball, ball. This is not in slow motion. This is the real deal right here. Look at how yeah, yeah. luscious. Everybody says it's good. It's luscious. It's so good and bourbony and it smells wonderful. So we're doing barbecue chicken wings tonight. That's our tailgater. Okay. Lovely. Luscious. Okay. You need do like I, a napkin or do something. Do I dare try to eat one of these? It's super hot. But I'm going to try anyway. He's going to get a napkin and he's going to burn his mouth off yeah, and we'll be all right though. Because okay. we won't let you guys go. All We've right, been so on here forever. Here we go. Oh, God dang, that's hot. Okay, here we go. Blow on it. Okay, okay. Oh, that's incredible. Mm. Whoops. <coughs> oh, my. Wings are tender. It's completely done. Air, the sauce Air fryer is the best. The sauce is unbelievable. Cleanup is going to be amazing. Oh, it's fantastic. So listen, y'all. We just wanted to kind of give this is just in the kitchen with us, just hanging out together. Uh, a little different kitchen than what we're normally in. Just hanging out with Jess and Ash. You say a better kitchen? It could be a better <laughs> kitchen, but a different kitchen. Pretty for sure. Pretty um, kitchen. But just, we're it's just a gorgeous a kitchen. Time. We're just hanging out together, having some fun, doing the family thing. Listen, we love you all. Lots of hearts, lots of emojis um, going on here. We have a YouTube channel called the Pastor's Pantry Cooking School. It's a YouTube channel. And we want you to go out there and check out. We have a whole lot of episodes of other stuff out there. Uh, and then we're just sort of doing this random, whatever we feel like it, you know, whatever we got time to cook for y'all. And, and just be real, not, you know, unscripted. We're just making it up as we go. Um, but we love y'all. We appreciate you. Bless cooking to you. We'll see you next episode. God bless. See you. Matt Cox will have leftovers. Call okay. us when you're done in the dugout. Don't hang out, bro. Love you. Bye. Bye.